I will say I'm a little bit stuffed up, so if I sound weird, that's why. Um, but today's video is going to be a little different. Today I'm going to do a How You Know People About You video. I'm going to do two groups. This deck here, so go ahead and choose whatever deck just speaks to you. Also, I'm going to do this deck as well. So I'll do group one and group two, and I will um, timestamp that at the bottom. But also, before I get started, I would like to thank everyone that has joined my Patreon and has gained access to my daily readings. Also, to everyone who has purchased a pair of lashes at jslashes.com. Um, everything you need to know will be in the description bar. Um, how to get a personal reading, link to my blog channel, links to Patreon, everything and all that will be down below. So, I do already have cards kind of flipping out here for group one. Oh, okay, so the first card that showed itself to me was the Six of Cups, and then this one is the Ace of Cups. So that tells me that there definitely can be somebody that you are connecting with um, on a very deep level. Also, the Six of Cups can represent the past as well. Let's go ahead and see. Universe, how does Group One's person feel about them? Okay, so we have the High Priestess here. So right off the bat with the High Priestess, I definitely, if this is like a crush, or like something like that maybe someone that you have not dated yet i feel like they know um that you like them or something like that or you could know that they like you as well but i do feel that they're being very silent about it okay yeah we have the temperance card here this person's being extremely patient i feel like they like you too and i do feel like the high priestess here you do know that they're being very um slow very patient which is not you know necessarily a bad thing Okay, so you have the strength card and the nine of cups. Okay, so this person really enjoys your company. They enjoy your conversation. Um, but with the nine of cups, this person, if you are they, if you, you guys, hello, <laughs> too early. Anyway, if you guys are not dating, I feel that they enjoy being single. This could be why they're being so slow or maybe not, you know, pushing this connection forward. Um, I, they are interested in you, Page of Swords. They definitely are interested in you. I do feel that they go out of their way maybe to look at your social media, watch your stories, whatever. I definitely feel that they do do that. Okay, okay so we have the Two of Wands here. I feel like they don't know what to do um, regarding this connection because I definitely feel the Nine of Cups here, they are perfectly fine and satisfied being single. However, I do feel that they... They do like you and they are considering, you know, moving this connection forward. So I do want to pull a couple cards to see maybe what is exactly holding them back. It could just be because they like to be single or whatever, but I definitely feel there's something holding your person back here. Why is the two of wands here? Okay, so we have the ace of cups, the page of wands. Okay, so I'm kind of getting here. They're open to, I feel like they want to move like start a relationship kind of sort of like with the ace of cups here i definitely feel that they want to go for it and they will but it could just be that they are trying to move slow it could just be that but to answer the question of how they feel about you this person is very interested in you i definitely feel definitely romantic feelings here with the ace of cups um they're shy like that could be it i'm definitely feeling page of wands here in the high priestess this person could be a little bit shy um about you know presenting this moving forward or even asking you out for some reason i'm getting that this could be someone that you are not dating group one for sure this definitely could be someone that you are not with yet however with the ace of cups here or the ace of cups and the ace of wands i definitely feel that you guys are going to have this new beginning so your person your crush i will say is interested in you because i definitely feel group one I, I feel like this is somebody that you are not dating yet but will be um we do have the three of cups here so kind of what i was getting at the beginning of this reading um the six of cups past energy here i do feel like somebody could want to reconcile with you with the three of wands or the three of cups why is the three of cups here yeah your person misses you they just told me they, they miss you terribly and i don't feel like they're saying anything about it Why is the three of cups here? Yeah, they want a new beginning. Why is the three of cups here? Okay, ooh. Yeah, the death card. So I, th I feel like this person has taken the ending between you two harder than maybe you think or even know about. So yeah, I'm giving kind of a two messages here. For one, somebody's crush. 
likes them too. But the reason that they're not, maybe haven't said anything yet is because they're, for one, they're shy and they're just being very slow and very patient about the thing. However, soon there will be a beginning between you two for sure. Um, now for another small group of you here, um, the past, I feel like they're going to come back into your life for sure. And I will pull a couple cards on these to see maybe what their intentions are, how things will go, what would happen if they come back, um, that type of thing. So you give me more on the Three of Cups. I do feel here also with the um, Death card, they are going to tell you that they've changed. So let's see if that is the truth. Oh, drop that card. Give me more of the three. Okay. Ooh, Nine of Swords, Four of Wands, and Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So right off the bat, they are coming back to have a relationship with you, to be happy. I do feel they said that they've changed, and I definitely feel that that is the truth, which is interesting because I don't really get to say that that much about a past person in a reading. So, um, for a very small group of you, I do feel like your person has truly changed and is ready to have a stable relationship with you. However, with the Knight of Swords here, I do feel that there's always going to be that worry that maybe they are not being truthful or faithful or whatever it is. I do feel in this situation, and of course, I do feel like this is a very small group of you in this situation, you do not have to worry about that person because they have genuinely made changes um, and healed in their life. So, I mean, that's a risky one because I know not everyone's ex can change or has changed. But in this case, for probably a very small group of you, they have truly, you know, changed and healed and have bettered themselves and now know how to have a, you know, stable relationship. So that was group one. I will go ahead and get started on group two. Wands, a little garden. I definitely feel your person has a wall up. Anyways, how does group two's person feel about them? Okay, let's start with over here. King of Swords, yes. Nine of Wands and the King of Swords. This person has a serious wall up here. Um, I will try to figure out maybe why, but yeah, they're definitely like their guard up. What is the energy surrounding group two's person? Is the energy surrounding group two's person okay oh three of swords well that could definitely be why um three of swords this is heartbreak i feel like your person has gone through um some shit whether you have dated this person before or not they've gone through some shit with somebody else for sure um and i do feel like they could be scared that this is just a repeat whether you are you know a person that they have dated or not they're scared that things won't work out or that they're going to get their heart broken so that is definitely why um, they have a wall up right now. Universe, how does group two's person feel about them? Okay, two of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like they have, they're waiting. I feel like they're definitely waiting. They're being very picky about, you know, moving forward with this, which, you know, is understandable. Three of swords is a horrible feeling. Definitely heartbreak. Could have got cheated on. Something like that they could have dealt with. Um, but I do feel like they are, with the Two of Pentacles here, juggling the idea of moving forward with you. Okay, yeah, judgment. They can't decide. I do feel like they can see themselves being with you. Queen of Pentacles here, they can see themselves being with you. Very attracted to you as well. I, I will say that they're scared. Like, I feel that your person is scared. Okay, yeah, Nine of Cups. I feel like they've... Um, kind of became accustomed to just being single and just become, you know, just satisfied with their self. So this could be why it's scary to, you know, move forward with a relationship with somebody new or just in a relationship at all. It could be a little bit scary for them. Okay, there's how does group two's person feel about them, okay? Ooh, it's of swords. Okay, so I do feel like you guys are gonna discuss um, this and I do feel like they could be they could come clean to you about how they feel I definitely feel there's going to be a conversation between you and their person I do feel they could even explain to you um, 
maybe that they're just scared to be in a relationship or I just feel like right now they're a little bit commitment shy because of what they've you know endured in the past so yeah we have the emperor card here with the devil so I feel like this person I don't know for some reason they're telling me they've taken I don't know I almost feel that they've trained themselves to just be like you know what fuck relationships here with the devil we're just gonna focus on ourselves, focus on our money which you know is not a bad energy but I do feel this wall up is blocking them and will continue to block them from having true love so it's a good energy and a bad energy at the same time um, I do feel like it can block out good opportunities for them um, in love so pretty much to answer the question how your person feels about you very physically attracted to you here um with the devil card here definitely very sexually attracted to you attracted to you as well um but their wall i will i'm gonna clarify and just get some more insight on this their wall is strong right now <laughs> like it is definitely it's it definitely feel it's gonna take some time for them to kind of put that wall down so with the person that group two is dealing with i feel like you could be waiting a while on this person so i will pull um a little bit of advice on what for you to do but i do feel it, it could take a while for this wall to come down why is the king of swords here with the nine of wands okay yeah nine of swords yeah they're just so worried nine of swords with the lovers card it's not that they don't like you your person actually really likes you but they're so worried that this love situation is going to turn out like this just shit, heartbreak, like a waste of time. They're so scared of wasting their time. And I do see that here with the Emperor card here. They're very scared of wasting their time. So yeah, I will pull some advice because this person, I don't think their wall is going anywhere for a while, if you want me to be honest. I really feel this person is set, like, especially coming up as the King of Swords here. Um, very fixed energy here. They're set. They're like, you know what? I'm good. Single. Nine of Cups. I'm all right. I'm good. Um, so, yeah, your person, it might take a minute. Okay. Universe, what is the advice for group two? Okay. We have the Justice card here. So, I'm definitely feeling like the advice. Justice card, Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. For one, if this person, if you have not expressed to this person, you know, how you truly feel and, you know, things like that, the advice maybe is to do so. Because like I said here with the Ace of Swords, I do feel like you guys are going to have a very good conversation, which may sway them a little bit to like open up to you a little bit more, maybe trust you a little more. Because this person straight up doesn't trust you. But I feel that, you know, they don't trust anyone. They don't feel like it's just you. So, um, yeah, I definitely feel advice here. It's just kind of have heart to heart to them if you can or just try to explain to them like yo i really like you or whatever or you know but if you guys are just like in the talking stage maybe ask them where is this going like am i are you wasting your time pretty much um to have that conversation so i do hope that this reading was helpful for you if you'd like a personal reading you can visit my website swordstarot.com and yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day